everybody! This week we're going to learn about Timothy. There's a letters in the back of the Bible that were written to Timothy and we're going to learn a little bit about who he was today. So go ahead and listen to the story. Hey everybody! This week we're going to learn about Timothy. There's a letters in the back of the Bible that were written to Timothy and we're going to learn a little bit about who he was today. So go ahead and listen to the story. Timothy loved to visit his grandmother Lois. His grandmother was kind and good. She loved God and prayed that Timothy would grow up to love God too. Even when Timothy was a small boy, she told him how much God loved him and that God had a special job for him to do when he grew up. Timothy's mother Eunice also loved God. She talked to Timothy about God every day. Timothy's love for God grew strong. He wanted to do what was good and right. God has said in the Bible that he will send his son to earth soon, his mother said. We must be ready when he comes. They prayed together. Timothy's mother and grandmother saw how much Timothy loved God's word. When Timothy heard about Jesus, he knew that Jesus was God's promised son. When he grew up, Timothy was Paul the teacher's helper. Paul wrote letters to Timothy. The letters are in the Bible. Timothy told people about Jesus and what God's word tells us to do. This was the special job God had for Timothy. We can tell other people about Jesus too. The relationship between God and Timothy this, in this story also shows how God loves us, as well as how we should love God. We should love God with all our heart, all our soul, and all our mind, and all our might. That's something you may be familiar with hearing from church, right? So that's how our relationship with God should be. God should be first in our lives. And God always loves us back, no matter where we are or no matter what we do. So we're going to make a fall craft that's going to help us remember how we should have our relationship with Jesus, how we should love him, and how he should come first in our lives. For this craft, you're going to need some colorful fall colored construction paper, a marker, a piece of brown construction paper, scissors, a color for the background, and a glue stick. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to trace my hand on my paper. I'm going to include some of my wrist because this time your hand is going to be a treat. And then once you've traced your hand, you're going to go ahead and cut it out. So there's my hand cut out. Then I'm going to glue my hand down onto my paper. So I'm going to put glue all over the back of it. And make sure I get plenty at the bottom as well. Then I want to glue my hand down. I want to have my hand meet the bottom of the paper. And then I'm just going to glue it down. After you've done that, you're going to take your scraps of paper. My paper is left over from another thing you're going to see at church on Sunday. So I'm going to rip my paper up into small pieces. And I have some pretty fall colors. I have orange, I have yellow, and I have red. What do you think these are going to be? That's right, they're going to be the leaves on my tree. So then I'm going to rip some red paper too. So these are all my leaves. Oops. Now that I have leaves, I'm going to take my glue and I'm going to put glue on my leaf. And then I'm going to glue it down onto my paper. And I want to make sure I get colors all spread out and all over my tree, both still on the tree and on the ground, right? Because that's what happens to leaves. They fall down onto the ground, don't they? I'm gonna put all sorts of colors 
Oh, I don't have any yellow on this side. I want to make sure I put some yellow over on this side. I'm going to put some a little higher than my tree because maybe they just blew off my tree into the air, right? So then here's some more. And I'm going to go ahead and do all the leaves I made. Depending on how many leaves you made, you may or may not want to glue them all down onto your tree. You may have made an awful lot, right? Depending on how much paper you had that you tore into pieces. And then, since this is a fall craft, I have a cute little fall scene. So I'm going to write falling in love, but love in all caps with Jesus. So I hope you had fun making your craft this week. I hope you have a good week, and I'll see you in Sunday school. Bye!